Hello, Cancer. Any energy here with your weekly tarot message? If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I make a new video for you. Alright, Cancer. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross for us today. Working with the pocket version of the next world tarot. So, a new deck here. Challenging that reality, where we are in this currently, what brought us to this point, our projected outcome, the outcome of this cycle, you as you see yourself, you as you relate to your environment or your community, top secret, secret weapon from spirit an overall outcome. All right. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Okay, current reality is the Two of Pentacles. So I really love this because you have um, here, you know, two individuals with the same goal. Um, so it's more, it, this is, our whimsical side coming together with our more practical logical side challenging that is the world so I feel like we do have a lot of options right now which can feel very overwhelming with the world so this is you know Capricorn earth energy Saturn energy so you know we could be feeling like we have a lot on our plate right now like we're really juggling the everyday day-to-day -day things but also you know we have these options out in the world we have things kind of calling our name here so let's see where are we at in this now the four of swords so i do feel like we are stepping back here a little bit this is jupiter and libra i feel like we are sort of taking a moment out to rest to regroup to really get our thoughts together Ooh, now what what brought us here, what's behind us here is justice. So this is also Libra and energy, Venus. And, you know, I really do love this energy coming out for you, you know, bringing you to this point. I do feel like Cancer, you know, you may, that may be what your goal is here is for justice on a, greater scale you know than just in your personal life here your projected outcome is the sun so you may be feeling very optimistic um now the overall energy the overall outcome of the cycle is the nine of swords so this is despair mars and gemini but you know even though this is despair this is you know, this is sort of an energy of, you know, other people's thoughts and feelings sort of affecting the way you see yourself. That's what I'm really feeling here. So you, as you see yourself, is coming out fire, Aries energy, Mars, the teacher. So I do feel like we are very stable here with these fours. We are... You know sort of leveling up here in a way the teacher is the equivalent of the emperor so this is building energy but um you know i feel like cancer we're really building something here that is for the greater good of everybody i do feel like there is some disappointment or some challenge um you as you relate to your community is the king of cups so I feel like this is that space between gentle and tough love. And, you know, I really do feel like you are, this is the throat of movement. And I'm 
definitely feeling that from you. Very strong, aggressive movement. We are definitely moving forward here. And we're really solid in what we believe. Really solid. You know, the King of Cups is a moat, has emotions and understands emotions, but is able to navigate them. Now here, your secret weapon from spirit is abandon Saturn and Pisces. So I do feel like Cancer, you do sort of have the ability to leave. If you want, you could leave and come back, to, you know, leave this realm of existence, sort of be in a more meditative state. You can, you know, I do feel like that is sort of your secret weapon is just this ability to go off the beaten path, to do things your own way. And I feel like that really, that part of your character here, it really truly is a secret weapon. Now the overall outcome is, I love this cancer because it is your card, the moon. So I feel like this is a very auspicious time for you. However, you know, we, we do not have clarity right now with the moon coming out. I love Cancer that you have the moon, the sun and the moon, both on top of your reading here. And, you know, that's really, really powerful to me. I feel like we are almost in a sort of, opposition here because you know I feel like we can feel we can really sense that this is an auspicious time our projected outcome is the Sun um, but there's going to be some discomfort before we get to you know I mean life's all about cycles ups and downs so there is this nine of swords and you know, like I said, this is despair. This is a challenging energy. But also with the nine, you do get, you know, completion and contentment. So there is, even with despair, sometimes can come some form of comfort. You know, maybe it's just knowing where you stand in a situation. Maybe before you were more in indecision. And that could even be... Um, indicated with justice coming up in reverse because justice is very much that balancing so you know and that again with the two of pentacles is sort of a balancing energy as well so definitely very interesting here cancer now i did go ahead and pull us out a moonology card and we have first quarter moon your commitment is being tested. So, your commitment is being tested. So I definitely feel like Cancer, definitely in your current energy, there is a need to just kind of keep going, keep balancing, balancing home and school and work and play. Don't forget anything. Nothing can be ignored right now. You do have to keep everything in motion keep things in motion with the world coming out. This is major arcana, a lot of major arcana in your reading, truly. We have four, five, wait, five. Five major arcana coming out in this reading. So, you know, this really is powerful. This is life altering energies out here. And you have the world challenging you right now. So. Cancer, if you are feeling like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, um, you know, that's understandable, but try to be really optimistic about that because with the world comes a lot of pressure, but with the world also comes a lot of options for you. I feel like, you know, we are sort of closing ourselves off a little bit here with the Four of Swords coming out. So I feel like You know, this is sort of that energy of stepping back, you know, after a battle. And really just taking that time to, you know, establish our next steps. Here, justice bringing us to this moment. That's, this is Venus, you know, love. Love and the desire to 
want things to be equal. Very beautiful, Cancer. And I do feel like we are very optimistic with the sun coming out. So really, you know, keep that optimism. Even if it does, you know, despair is coming out. So there could be disappointment or struggle coming as a result of this cycle. But overall, you're going to be able to take on this role of teacher. You know, the teacher is very passionate. You know, she's studying. She She's able to teach other people. She's creating a movement. She can create a movement. But, you know, she might not shower. She's going to have some struggles. Um, you know, that's just you know, sort of the energy I'm, I'm feeling here is, you know, what you're doing here is so important and it really is coming from a place of love. You know, the way that you're relating to your community here is, you know, you're coming through as this healed healer. You know, the space between gentle and tough love, it's very beautiful, very Cancerian. And, you know, I just see us really, really leaning in, leaning into our more spiritual side. You know, we do have the Eight of Cups abandoned. This is our top secret weapon from Spirit Cancer, so please keep that in mind. Don't be afraid to do things your own way. You are you. You are beautiful. And, you know, that's exactly what you're here to do is be your authentic self. And there it is, that's you. This is your card, Cancer. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, Cancer. Um, your commitment is being tested, so commit to yourself. And, you know, why wouldn't you want to? It, you are really strong, full of love, and just able to really embody all of the energies that it takes to get the job done here. So Cancer, again, just gonna leave it there. If you have any questions, if this reading resonated for you, reach out to me. All of that information will be in the description box below. Please like and comment on the video because that means the world to me. Follow me on Instagram, I will go live. I'll have a photo of this spread there as well. You can answer or you can ask and I will be happy to answer any of your lingering questions. Cancer, I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.